walking or riding bike through a dark tunnel under State Street. Now you can enjoy the view. That's right. Mel Gordon joins us now to tell us all about the Heritage Art Tunnel. Hi, Mel. Welcome. Hi there. Thank you so much for being here today, Mel. What do you think of these two with their <laughs> watermelon be bellies? I love it. I love it. So, through the end of October, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Every day, I think they should do that. It's going 9.59, this thing's coming off. Yeah. Well, Mel, we are here to talk all about the Heritage Art Tunnel. You put in a lot of hours completing the artwork that goes into that tunnel. So what does it feel like to be all done? I know you had a big ribbon cutting yesterday. And, you know, what do you hope people... Um, think about when they see it? Um, you know, it, one lady said it's just like walking through a history book, which that was the whole intent. It's, it was based on the North Dakota Studies fourth grade curriculum. Um, so all the, all the different icons in there represent, you know, different aspects of, of events in North Dakota history. So, um, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun to put it together, and I hope that people will take the time to kind of, you know, learn a little bit more about the history of North Dakota. Um, there's lots of, of fascinating things about our state. And you are the mural artist who, how many hours did you spend completing this project? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was almost 300. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, and that was just the laying it out and painting it. So, you know, designing it took probably about a month to, for both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Mel, the, your design there, you said there's lots of historical uh, pictures in there. Also kind of look like a silicone computer chip. Am I, am yep. I right about that? Yep, you're exactly right. Yeah, so the theme of, of our project was um, connections. And so that made me think of a circuit board. So if you look at a circuit board, there's like almost like these little island things connected by the circuitry and the lines. And so each little icon represents an event in either the development of energy or agriculture mm -hmm. on each side of the tunnel. And then the lines in between represent different aspects of the um, curriculum. It, it corresponds with the website on the um, fourth, Dakota, or fourth grade curriculum. So like the orange represents the coal, um, pink would represent petroleum on the energy side, orange would represent like the... Um, equipment on, and the green would represent the different crops on the agriculture side. So. Sure. And Mel, what type of technique did you use? Um, it's just um, house paint. <laughs> okay. It's, it, I, I, uh, I actually, I used Charlie Harper's art as inspiration for, you know, the design of the piece. He had very geometric shapes with his artwork and so that lent itself really well to, you know, making it look like a circuit board with the little islands and the very, you know, the circles and the lines and, and the very geometric shapes. And as someone who used to bike through that tunnel quite a bit, I can tell you it is such an improvement, first of all, to be able to go through that and it's well lit and everything so you just feel safer, but then you also get to experience your masterpiece. Is there something that is your favorite part of the artwork? Um, there's one part on the energy side where the, the timeline moves from the tropical, you know, weather and, and then it goes into the ice age. So then the sun lines from the sun stop and there's, you know, the ice mountains in the background turn to ice hills from the glaciers and, and the rain turns into snow and then it turns back into snow to rain again. And just that whole little piece of the uh, process there I thought was kind of... It was kind of fun to put that one together. Well, it has been very fun to watch the progress and to now see it in its completion. Thank you so much, Mel. Thanks, Mel. Well, thanks for having me. And if you would like to view the tunnel for yourself, it is located under State Street, and that's between Myron Atkinson Park and the North Dakota Heritage Center, which you could kind of see in the mm -hmm. distance, which, which is also very cool. Yeah, very cool. But coming up next, as if our watermelons aren't entertaining <laughs> enough, we have some more entertainment on the way. That's right. Two performers from Dakota State.